With 15 minutes left and the home fans growing restless, Enzo Maresca must have wished he was back posing for pictures with Pep Guardiola after Manchester City's treble win, celebratory cigar between his lips. The new Leicester head coach had watched his side fall behind to Kyle McFadzian's header early in the second half and breathed a sigh of relief as Coventry missed chance after chance to make the game safe. Because there is no hiding place when you're the boss, Enzo, none of Pep's reflected glory to bask in when your team defend like a pub veteran's 11 after a heavy night, but then Leicester's Premier League quality rescued them. A glorious cross from substitute Dennis Pratt was headed in by Kiernan Dewsbury Hall in the 75th minute. Then seconds after Coventry sub Haji Wright had hit the bar, Dewsbury Hall struck Leicester's second three minutes from full-time. Maresca leapt into the arms of his backroom team and Leicester's bid to make an immediate return to the Premier League had its winning start. Yet for all Maresca's engaging chat about playing philosophies and for all his sub-Guardiola tactical maneuvers, the one thing all successful managers need is a bit of luck, and Maresca had a huge slice of it here. The fans want us to play quickly but going quickly does not mean you create more chances or attack better, said Maresca when asked about the frustration in the stands. Our idea is not to go slowly, but when you are 1-0 to zero down and the opponent is giving you no space, you try to slow down. I can understand the fans but we need them to understand that this is our idea. In the first half the team showed what we are looking for. James Madison and Harvey Barnes had departed since relegation for a combined fee of nearly £80 million and Maresca will want to invest more than the £30 million he has already spent. It felt significant that several of Leicester's Premier League campaigners were left on the bench here. Leicester moved the ball well enough during the opening exchanges but Coventry were one of the best defensive sides in the division last season. The Sky Blues lost on penalties to Luton in the playoff final and also lost star striker Victor Gyokiers to Sporting Lisbon over the summer. There's a lot of Manchester City in Leicester's movements and switches of play, said Coventry boss Mark Robbins. They have Premier League quality players and in the end it showed but we had chances and if we had gone 2-1 to one up, they would not have come back. Coventry threatened regularly with debutants Bobby Thomas and Ellis Sims going close, said it was no real surprise when they moved in front shortly after halftime. Sims had already missed a glorious chance seconds before McFadzian drifted away from Wilfred and Didi to head in the excellent Gustavo Hamer's corner at the near post, with Leicester's new goalkeeper Mads Hermanson glued to his line. After that, Coventry had chances to win more than one game. Matt Godden volleyed straight at Hermanson and the forward then twice failed when put clean through. By now the home fans were booing when Hermanson dwelled on the ball but they were on their feet. Fifteen minutes from time when Pratt's cross delivery was met with a firm downward header from Dewsbury Hall, back came Coventry. On as a substitute, their new £7 million striker Haji Wright's deflected strike was flicked onto the bar by Hermanson and Godden put the rebound wide. Coventry were made to pay moments later when impressive new signing Steffi Mavididi found Dewsbury Hall in space inside the box and the finish was outstanding.